1583, Queen Elizabeth grants Walter Raleigh a charter to establish a colony in mid-Atlantic North America. Over the next four years, Raleigh organizes three expeditions that reach the modern Outer Banks of North Carolina. In 1584, an exploratory expedition helps the English better understand the region. In 1585, a second expedition carrying over 100 men arrives to search for valuable resources and establish a military base. But after conflicts with native peoples, the English flee home in 1586. My name is Clay Swindell. I'm an archaeologist with First Colony Foundation. I grew up with the, the, the Roanoke colonies and the mysteries that surround that, so it's, it's been really nice to be able to put some of my skills towards sort of answering some of those questions. During those first sort of expeditions, they explored back towards what is now called the Albemarle Sound and the back areas up the Chawan River uh, and up the Roanoke River. The important thing to remember about the, the, the Roanoke expeditions, and there, you know, there's more than one, um, and the initial expeditions before they, the colony got lost uh, were more military slanted, more scientific slanted. They were interested in, in, in the region itself and the resources in the region and the people that knew about the resources in the region. Despite the failure of the previous voyage, Raleigh is undeterred, and in 1587 he sends a third expedition of 118 men and women to create a permanent English colony in the New World. 